Hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm upset that we have to meet over Skype and we can't do it in real life. Where are you right now? I'm in the Hamptons. What are you doing in the Hamptons? We came, this is my first time here. We came out for the weekend just with some friends, just to kind of see what it's like, watch a polo match, stay in beautiful houses. It's been, it's been good. It's very posh there in the Hamptons. Very posh. It's a very, very white crowd, which is kind of freaking me out. I'm like, <laughs> it's so pale here. Where, where is everybody? <laughs> now, I've, I've noticed that you've been spending a lot of time in, in New York. Are you spending the summer there? Are you living there? What's, what's up with that? Yes, I'm spending the whole summer in New York. I came for three days and ended up staying for a month. And then now I'm like, I may as well just stay here all summer. It's just been so, so good. The weather's amazing. I got an apartment here. So it's all, it's all very New York. Wow. And are you also working on music there? Yes, there's a lot of great producers here. Someone told me before that all the producers were in LA, so I've done a lot of work out there. But now there's a lot of producers here too, so I've done a lot of like 5 a.m. studio nights, which is ridiculous, but I'm getting a lot of stuff done. So the, 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 you have a new song out. Yes. Which is, uh, I think, a little different from your other solo material. This seems a little more dance-oriented. Is yes. that... Um, the direction that you're heading in now or was that just kind of like a one-off well it was kind of coming to new york and you know we went out a lot you know and there was a lot of that music around so i was thinking i want to do something like that you know i want to have a song that can be played in the club and that environment so i kind of took that route so i'm getting some of the songs from the insatiable album remastered and remixed kind of with a more dancey more kind of club a mainstream feel oh so is that going to be coming out soonish is that yes going to be coming out soonish is that maybe possibly hopefully girls allowed 2012 yes i've heard that maybe possibly hopefully same thing in my book too there's like i hear all these rumors it's like oh we're opening the olympics or we're doing a stadium tour i mean everything's all possible it's all possible it's all there for for the take and it's just if everybody comes together and everybody wants to do it then i'm there <laughs> you want to do it you're open to it yeah, totally. I mean, do, do, do you ever see any of our shows, the Girls Aloud shows? On YouTube, I haven't seen it in person and it so uh, saddens uh, me. You've got to come and see it. I'm pushing real good. Yeah. But if we're going to do if we're going to do like a huge tour next year, then I would assume, just from how it went before, we would need to put the tickets on sale very soon. So, we'll see. Well, fingers crossed. <laughs> I, I was speaking with uh, Nicola not that long ago, and right. she said that you and I, that you and her um, chatted around somebody's birthday. You still keep uh -huh. in touch with all the girls? Yeah, we talk. Yeah, we do. Anytime we see each other, I mean, everybody's all over the place. And we spent so much time together for all those years. But now everybody's just like, oh, you know, so when we catch up, there'll always be a lot to talk about. <laughs> and now you, before you were spending time in New York, you were living in California. Yes, yes. Uh, you still have your place there, right? Yeah, I still have my place there. And your family have, lives there too? Family still lives there. Still have to, you have to get the restaurant down there. I know, it's Nadine's Irish pub. Yes, maybe <laughs> Irish miss. Miss, miss, right. But it's not even in Los Angeles, it's in Orange County, yeah. right? Orange yeah. County, Why did you ever end up there, or how, or what drew you to that spot? It was actually my parents that were there, and my dad was loving somewhere in Huntington Beach. And I went there and I was like, is this a, is this a film set? I felt like it was a movie set. It's like, this is real, no way. And yeah, it's, it's like a resort. It's like living permanently on a resort. But I still live in London. I still have my place there. Now I'm in New York. 
Ireland, LA. So you get around. I'm a gypsy. Yeah, I love everywhere. Yes. <laughs> I have had to come with a thong as a bobble because I was. I'm I told you to look for one. Totally unprepared. And I'm going to now. This is what we've got. Now, yeah. <laughs> So you've pretty much been doing this your whole life now. Yeah. If, if you were to do something else, what, what, what would you like to do in the future that you haven't done or, or had, have another career? Well, my plans when I was younger, I wanted to be a, a chef in the morning, you know, be some type of baker, you know, like bake pastries and stuff, be a teacher in the afternoon and then be a singer at night time. That was my, you know, my childhood dreams. So definitely some form of cooking. You're, some a, good, cooking. you're a good chef? I mean, I, I try, <laughs> I, I try to be. Well, gorgeous, this has been lovely. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your August in, in New York. Yes, I know, really, thank you for taking the time to do this, thank it's great to talk to you after yeah. so yeah. it really is well, we'll I'll, I'll hit you up when i'm in new york in september hit me up and i'll talk to you then okay talk bye <laughs>